Hi, my friends. I want to share some wisdom with you today that comes from Thich Nhat Hanh, um, my beloved teacher, Zichronam Lebracha, which means that his memory should be for a blessing. Um, I was up at his monastery at Blue Cliff Monastery in New York um, this weekend for a day of mindfulness, and they were reciting the 14 mindfulness trainings. Um, and the ninth mindfulness training is very appropriate for Gemini season. It's appropriate for every day of our lives as we um, commit ourselves to practicing and being the best people that we can be and to really elevate our behavior and our awareness. Um, but specifically for Gemini season, because Gemini is a mutable air sign, which is about the flow of ideas, communication, words. Um, it's everything, all the flutter inside of our minds, the chatter, the things we say to ourselves, the things we say to others, how we observe silence and not use words sometimes um, for the best. Um, and also just bringing mindfulness to how we communicate, how we interact and what the content is around that. So I wanted to share this ninth mindfulness training for you and it's called truthful and loving speech. Um, aware that words can create happiness or suffering, we are committed to learning to speak truthfully, lovingly and constructively. We will use only words that inspire joy, confidence and hope as well as promote reconciliation and peace in ourselves and among other people. We will speak and listen in a way that can help ourselves and others to transform suffering and see the way out of difficult situations. We are determined not to say untruthful things for the sake of personal interest or to impress people, not to utter words that might cause division or hatred. We will protect the happiness and harmony of our Sangha, our community, by refraining from speaking about the faults of other persons in their absence, and always ask ourselves whether our perceptions are correct. We will speak only with the intention to understand and help transform the situation. We will not spread rumors nor criticize or condemn things of which we are not sure. We will do our best to speak out about situations of injustice, even when doing so may make difficulties for us or threaten our safety. So I hope that that gives you something to think about and is inspiring, right? This question of right speech, loving speech. Um, how do I use the power of my words for the greater good um, and, at, and certainly not to do harm? Um, and I'll have to say that I've been practicing this um, and practicing, I, well, practicing because I failed at this this week. So um, full transparency, I am a human being and often also struggle with when to say the appropriate thing, when to hold back from speaking. And I had a conflict this week with somebody that was unproductive and unpleasant and caused harm to myself and to others. Um, you know, we sometimes are not as skillful as we would like to be. And the practice of mindfulness helps us to come back to ourselves, to notice what is arising in us, what is arising in the moment when someone else is doing or saying something that triggers a feeling, a sense, a response in us, a perception in us. And then we can notice and kind of step back from immediately responding in a way that could be potentially harmful, right? And we can start to notice what is arising in me at this moment. How can I take care of those feelings, those perceptions? What else might I do to nurture and nourish myself and then come back at the situation with clear eyes? So um, in the Jewish tradition, we speak about shmirat lashon, which is a guarding, a guarding of our tongue, a guarding of our speech, that we want to be wise in our use of the power of words. Um, so I hope that that is helpful for you. I will say something about my experience this week, and this is another beautiful teaching that you may appreciate, which is, um, and this is actually coming from um, another Buddhist text, but the author says, that it is the challenging situations rather than the pleasant ones that offer us the best opportunities to practice. 
and we should therefore appreciate any problems that arise. So I guess if I'll leave you with a blessing for the month of Gemini um, is to bring more mindfulness to your observance of your own words, internally, externally, your use of speech and silence. Um, and also to really appreciate that the things that challenge us, the moments where we fail, the moments where we struggle, um, the moments where the most intense reactions, emotions, thoughts arise within us, that those are actually opportunities for our own practice. So if we lean into and take those opportunities as a blessing, as an offering to show us what we need to become more enlightened, more transformed, um, you know, then it is for a blessing, right? So um, I'm wishing you all a very, very good, happy, healthy month. Um, reach out to me anytime. If you have any comments on this video, on this teaching, I would really appreciate hearing those. You can certainly leave those um, for me personally in an email or in the, you know, in the YouTube um, video. Okay. Happy Gemini season, everyone.